In our Gospel today, Jesus asks the disciples a question, but it seems like he already knows the answer to it. So why would he ask it? Let's find out. Kia ora everyone, my name is Mark and if you remember, it was two years ago that I made this video here and I was a seminarian. I was training to be a priest at Holy Cross Seminary and now, praise God, I am a priest. Uh, I am an assistant priest up here at uh, St. Joseph's Takapuna uh, in Auckland. And it's really wonderful to be able to share another gospel reflection with all of you down in Christchurch. In our gospel today, there's a really interesting interaction with Jesus and the disciples. So they're traveling to Capernaum, and on the way, the disciples are arguing about who is the greatest of all of them. And when they get to Capernaum, Jesus asks them, what were you arguing about along the way? And the disciples, they don't want to answer because uh, maybe they're embarrassed. Maybe they think, oh, we probably shouldn't have been saying those things. And so they don't tell Jesus what they've been arguing about. But if you notice, Jesus already seems to know what they've been talking about because he sits down with them and he says, if any of you want to be the greatest, you have to be the least. You have to be a servant to others. So why would Jesus ask a question that he already knew the answer to? Or maybe Jesus just wanted to have a conversation with them. Maybe Jesus just wanted to know what they were thinking. They wanted, uh, he wanted them to interact with him. And that, plus this uh, command of Jesus to be a servant to others, gives us two really good lessons for today. The first lesson is that God wants you to share your life with him. He wants to know about the things that worry you. He wants to know about the things that uh, you find difficult or hard. Um, maybe you're learning something new at school and it's kind of hard. Uh, maybe you're embarrassed about something that you did like the disciples were. Or maybe something really good happened, right? Like maybe you did something really cool and your friends noticed it. Or maybe uh, you, someone did a nice thing for you or something made you laugh. No matter what it is, God wants to know about it. He already knows because he's God and he knows everything, but he wants to hear it from you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants to hear your voice. He wants to have a relationship with you because he's so interested in everything about you, the good things and the bad things. And so he wants you to share everything with him. And the second lesson is that God wants us to share with others as well. He wants us to be generous and giving and kind. But it's hard to do that if we think that we're better than everyone else, right? That's why Jesus says, if we want to be truly great, if you want to be really amazing, you need to be a servant to other people. You need to help others. You need to be kind to others and respect others. We need to look out for each other instead of thinking about ourselves all the time. And with God's help, we can do that. It's not always easy, but Jesus is always there to help you. And so today, you might like to do something nice for another person, or you might like to just sit and have a conversation with God and share the things in your life that are difficult or that are exciting or that you're happy about, anything it is, God is always wanting to listen to you. And God is listening to us right now. So now is a great time to say a prayer and ask for God's help.
Let's pray the sign of the cross in te reo. I te ingoa o te mātua, o te tamaiti, o te wairu o tapu. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us and for being so interested in us. You share your life with us so we can share our lives with you and with others. When we're happy or sad or worried or excited, help us to be open to you and share how we feel and help us to be servants of one another and to be kind and generous to all people as you were. Amen. I te ingoa o te mātua, o te tamaiti, o te wairu o tapu. Amen. Well, thank you very much. Know that I am praying for all of you still, um, and I hope that you can continue to say some prayers for me um, as I continue um, serving people up here in Auckland. Until then, God bless.